It's summertime, you guys, and if you're like me, you're probably gonna travel this summer and you're gonna get travel anxiety. I mean, just last week, all the planes stopped because some software malfunction and you were just stuck for days wherever you were. So how do you combat travel anxiety? Well, here's five tips. I'm Shireen Kassan with MyPainCenter.com. Okay, so I am taking my mom to London and France and maybe Belgium and maybe Amsterdam. I'm just naming countries and cities. I know that was a whole mix. I don't have the full itinerary plan because she doesn't know what she wants. She just wants to do London and Paris, but I feel like if we're going all that way, we should do other things too. Anyways, I get a lot of anxiety when I take my mom anywhere because my mom is very controlling and she likes to be in charge of everything. She also doesn't like it when there's too much, like she's one of those people who will get right up on you in line and it bothers me because I'm like, mom, step back. Anyways, I get a lot of anxiety. So anyways, here are the five things I'm gonna do when we travel together to make sure that I am calm, cool, and relax. The first thing I always do before I pick up my mom to go to the airport is I do some meditation. I have a Calm app on my phone. Um, you can just go on YouTube and just, just meditate. And I know meditating is hard because your mind's like, oh my God, did I pack my toothbrush? Did I have to pack my hairbrush? Bah, 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 bah. But I just try to like get into a good space where I just try to remind myself, don't let the small things bother you. Um, and I kind of just try to like, I know my mom and I just gotta like, let it let me remind me so that when it happens, I'm not upset about it. Two, make sure your headphones are charged. So whether you're gonna bring Bluetooth headphones on the plane or you're gonna have a wired pair of headphones, make sure you have them both. I travel with both because some planes have the jack to put it in and some planes don't even have a TV. And I'm surprised that that still exists. So I always carry my two headphones around make sure you have your iPad or your phone is fully charged and that you've downloaded something to watch that does not require Wi-Fi. So start downloading that stuff now because again, if there's no TV in the plane or sometimes you've seen everything and you're like, Okay, so those are your first two things. Third, I always take CBD the morning I'm gonna fly. I take CBD because I'm not trying to be high yet because sometimes the airport is too too busy and I don't like being like, I don't like being elevated while I'm going through all that things. But I do take the CBD for the anxiety of just getting to the airport. Like for me, just the, the from leaving my house to parking my car at the parking garage at the airport to getting through security is like, I wish there was a way to just fast track all of that. I know there's TSA, but even that's getting really ridiculous. But I wish there was just a way to be like VIP access. Like, you know, at Disney World, there's this VIP service that just takes you right through. I want that. But anyway, CBD helps me with that. It helps just because people are rude these days. I don't know what's wrong with people. But anyway, so that's your third tip. Now, fourth tip. Snacks, snacks are very important. Now you're probably maybe traveling in a car or you might be traveling by plane or train and maybe there's a snack cart or they're gonna give you dinner or something, but oh, you can't count on that stuff. I mean, have you seen the size of the free snacks you get on the plane these days? It's like this small, you know what I mean? And like you get a granola bar and you think you're gonna get like a nine grams protein granola bar and it's like this small or you're, you're in the train cart and like they're like, oh, sorry, we ran out of that. You know what I mean? Or you, anyways, long story short, Pack the snacks, just pack them. And they're so much cheaper if you just go and buy them wherever you live than trying to buy them at the airport, okay? So, and even if you think you might not need the snacks, pack the snacks, get the chips, get the chocolates, get the gummy bears, get everything. Because when you're on that flight or in that car and you start to get those like sugar cravings, you're gonna want them, you're gonna want them and then you're gonna have to pay double or triple the price, okay? Um, reusable bottle, water bottle. I'm gonna put that with the snacks. Bring that just in case. You can buy water in the airport or you can stop at a gas station, but just bring the water bottle. Okay, and then number five. This is really important for me. Like I said, I take CBD in the morning before the flight, but I always carry my gummies with me. Now, be careful when you're traveling with gummies. Yes, it's federally legal to travel with CBD Delta 8, Delta 9 in the United States, but some people can get a little bit overpowerful or like, you know, wanna like step up and be like, no, and may cause you problems. I always just take the gummies I want and put them in a Ziploc bag and then I carry the zippy bag with me. Now, 
if I'm doing a transatlantic flight, like for example, a couple years ago, I went to Dubai. That's a 16 hour flight. I took some Delta 8 THC gummies for that flight because I wanted to pass the F out. You know what I mean? Like there's only so many movies you can watch in so long that you can sit in an airplane seat like this and try to get a good night's sleep. I needed those drugs, okay? And I took that gummy and I was out. Even my mama, when I woke up, she was like, you took a gummy, didn't you? And I was like, yes, I did. Because you could tell, by the way, I slept through that whole plane ride. Now, I'm taking my mama to London. It's a seven hour flight. The first two hours, I'm probably gonna watch a movie, then they're gonna serve dinner, and so I'll probably get like maybe three or four hours of sleep on the plane. For that, I'm probably just gonna take another CBD gummy, maybe one with CBN in it, but no THC, because I know if I take a THC gummy for four hours, I'm, unless it's a low dosage, like you can, maybe two milligrams or five milligrams, I might be able to do, but I try on shorter distances just to take the CBD and not do the THC just in case, like, especially because we're going to London and sometimes they have really good snacks on the way to London, depending on what airline you fly. Okay, so those are my five tips if you are traveling this summer, whether by car, boat, train, or plane. One, meditate before you go and that can just be going to the gym or just like closing your eyes for a little bit and visualizing all the irritating people you're going to meet along the way Two, take your cbd in the morning just so you can make sure you're calm relaxed mood upliftment three make sure you've got your headphones and something to watch or read on the plane four you've got your snacks and your water and then five you've got your gummies in a ziploc bag so that they can't t confiscate them from you and Make sure you have enough to take on the way there and on the way back and that you don't get too out of control or too high. Because I do not want to read about you getting pulled over on some Spirit Airlines flight for disrupting the flight or pooping in the aisles or whatever that's been going on in these airlines, okay? Now, if you need any help picking out a product to travel with, check us out at MyPainCenter.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you have other tips for travel anxiety, let me know in the comments below. Love to hear them. Talk to you soon. Bye.